Do you want to know the cheapest and quickest way to check if a magic card is authentic or not? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. You're actually going to not going to need to buy any tools. You're not going to need to buy a jeweler's loop for zooming in. No, nope, don't need that. You're not going to need a digital microscope for zooming way in and checking the rosette pattern. Nope, don't need that even. You're not even going to need an LED light for shining through the car to check uh, light dispersion. So I know what you're thinking. Maybe you can tell based on the feel, right? The feel of the card will tell you if it's real or not. Well, not really reliable anymore either because cards are printed in different places, Japan, Belgium, the US, and each place has a different feel and bendability. So you can't really uh, base the feel on if it's real or not. So this is how you check to see if it's authentic or not without buying anything. You take the smartphone that you already own, you go to 2x zoom, and you take a picture of the card at about this distance. Then you zoom in to the picture as far as it can go, and based on just this picture, you'll be able to tell if it's authentic or not, and I'll show you how to do that. So here's a picture I took on my smartphone, and what you're going to want to do is zoom into this green dot here, pinch to zoom on your smartphone, and what you're going to see is something that looks like this. So you won't be able to see too many details, like with the jeweler's loop, you won't be able to see the, the four red dots in this white blob here, but you will be able to see enough details to be able to tell if the pattern is correct. So I've marked this up here just to show what you want to look for. So I kind of think of this symbol as like a volcano. This is the bottom of the volcano and the top of the volcano is right up here where the lava would come out. So if you draw an M around this volcano, you'll notice a pattern of these dots. So these dots are in specific locations on a real card and they won't be there on fake cards. So if you count the number of dots, you'll see something like this where there's eight dots on the left side of the volcano and eight dots on the right side of the volcano and one dot that kind of goes into the volcano. So if you see a pattern like this, you know it's a real card. If it doesn't have a pattern like this, you know it's fake. So now I'm going to be testing out my method. I have four fake cards here that I've acquired and also three real cards and I'll be taking a picture of each of these and viewing them and seeing if my method of determining if they're authentic works or not. So I'll be taking a picture of all those and here's some fake cards. I'll be taking a picture of each of these and let's try out my method. So I ended up taking pictures of about 25 different magic cards from lots of different eras all the way from 1994 to modern cards just to get a variety of different cards to see if the pattern that I've identified matches all real cards and it really has. Uh, so if I scroll through these pictures one by one I'll show you um, how the pattern matches uh, with the M on top of the volcano. Uh, and if you want to see if you can identify the pattern yourself, uh, feel free to pause the video and see if you can recognize the pattern before I show it. Uh, once you do get used to doing this method, it really becomes like second nature where you can identify the volcano and the M on top pretty easily. And then you can count the number of dots to make sure it meets the eight dots on one side and eight dots on the other side. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is the dots are not always going to be the same shape. So sometimes they're very circular, sometimes they're a little bit less circular, they're more geometric shapes. And that's normal just because there's artifacts that, that happen when your smartphone camera is trying to take pictures of these really tiny things. So a lot of times the shapes may not look circular at all, but as long as they're in the same locations and the density and the angle of these dots are uh, matching with real cards, then you can pretty much consider that the card is real. Another thing I wanted to mention is the color of the green dot. It will vary a bit between different eras of cards and also different generations of printers. So for example, this one is really dark. If I go to the previous one, it's not quite as dark. So there are some variations in color. Don't worry about that too much. Really, you just want to look for the, the matching pattern of, of M on top of a volcano. Um, and as long as that matches, you can be pretty confident that it's a real card. So now I'm comparing the real card on the left with the fake one on the right, and I've taken pictures with a smartphone just like I did with the real ones, and you can tell on this one that the pattern does not match. It's not a volcano shape. It's very round. Uh, it doesn't have the flat sides on the volcano, and the density of the dots is completely different way more dots on the fake one than on the real one. Maybe that means it's a higher resolution printer. I'm not sure. Uh, but the pattern does not match. There's not really a way to draw an M on top of it with the dots in it. Uh, and I also have another fake one here to compare it to. This one's a little bit closer, but the density of the dots is still quite a bit, uh, quite a bit more dots uh, in this green spot than on the than on the real card. And 
this does not look like a volcano. This spot here, it looks more round. Uh, the, the angle of the dots is wrong. It doesn't go on the side um, of the volcano. So this one is uh, definitely a fake. Um, on the third one here that I'm comparing, this fake one is a little bit closer uh, to the real one, so it's a little bit harder to identify. This kind of looks like a volcano, but not exactly. Uh, but the density of the dots is, is still different, even though the angle of the dots does appear like it could match a real one. The density is still higher on, on this one than, than the real one. So if I try to draw the M, this is kind of the best, best way I can try to draw this M to see if it matches. If you count the number of dots, um, it kind of comes out to 10, I believe. So 10 on each side instead of 8 on each side. Uh, so that's why it's important to actually count and, and make sure the number of dots uh, matches uh, because there could be the same angle of the dots uh, but just a different density. So this one's also fake and fails the test. So I hope that helps people with determining if their cards are real or not without having to buy any extra equipment. So let me know if anybody uses this method and uh, tell me if there's any flaws to it or if it doesn't work. Um, but I would uh, suggest check any cards you buy on eBay or TCG Player using this method if you don't already own like a jeweler's loop. And um, even in cards that are already in your collection that you maybe you bought many, many years ago, might as well check to see if they're authentic or not. You may not be able to get your money back if you find a card in your collection already that's, uh, that's fake, but at least you'll know it's fake and you won't sell it to somebody else. So uh, thanks.